What are the parts of the mass? Ordinarily, Holy Mass is divided into two parts, the Liturgy of the Word and the Liturgy of the Eucharist. The Liturgy of the Word consists above all of readings. The readings are selected texts from the Bible. And the Gospels that speak about Jesus have, naturally, a central place. In the readings, we hear the Word of God what God has revealed to us in salvation history. And this helps us to know God even deeper and teaches us to lead a good and upright life in Christ. The second part, the Liturgy of the Eucharist, also revolves around the Word of God, but the Word of God incarnate, made flesh in Jesus, who is now truly present on the altar under the species of bread and wine. These two parts are the most common way to divide the liturgical celebration. But there's also another division of Holy Mass, and it goes like this. 500 years ago, there were these two really great saints, St. Teresa of Avila and St. John of the Cross, who spent most of their time pondering our Christian life. And they observed the following. Our spiritual life progresses in three stages, purification, illumination, and union with God. Sounds a little Buddhist, but it's thoroughly Catholic. And since St. Teresa of Avila and St. John of the Cross obviously went to Holy Mass every day, it occurred to them that something quite similar happens at Mass. Purification, illumination, and union with God. At the beginning of Mass, we find the theme of purification. We pray the I confess to Almighty God and sing the Kyrie or Lord have mercy. Then we have the readings from Holy Scripture. The readings shed light on the mystery of God and our faith. They illuminate us. And finally, up on the altar, Jesus becomes present. And even more than this, we can receive Him in Holy Communion. In Holy Mass, then, we find the same stages as in the spiritual life, purification, illumination, and union with God. And for this reason alone, the Holy Mass is certainly the best school for our Christian life.